What's up guys, Saint 7 here, and time to buy Spirit Rage on my second account. I gotta say, I'm really excited about this, because I'm gonna get to roll a whole bunch of gems. Love rolling. Uh, I'm gonna make three purchases real quick, and that's gonna go ahead and cap it off. It's gonna give me uh, right around 25,000 gems, maybe a little less. You can see the bonus right there, a little 10% on the $20 purchase. So, that's one thing to pay attention to, you know, because, you know, if I was spending, you know, $50, it would be better to do the purchases of... 2020, which I'm doing right now, instead of that $50 purchase because of the bonus. And this is the last one. This is going to be the 50 Actually, hold on. I think I'm going to buy the, just go ahead and do the $20 purchase right here because the extra bonus, it will give me uh, like 26000 I think that'll what I'll be starting with and get to roll all that right now. Hopefully, I'll get the three heroes I need, which Reaper, Ninja, and... Pumpkin Dookie. It's a tough one, though. All right, there it is. Spirit Mage. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. You can see right there, there's a reward. Spirit Mage. And let's go ahead and claim her. All right, I got the floating purple hooker on my second account now. Absolutely love it. All right, I'm going to go through and just show you this account. It was originally a Smurf that has turned into main, and I... I'm just having so much fun going through this game again for a second time. It's just a really, really fun experience. It started off free to play, and obviously it's not free to play anymore. And, well, here it is. Uh, gold Mines. Just three, gold vaults at 15, one at 14, and then you got the mana mines all at level two, mana vaults, 12, and then we got a baby one right there, and I believe the baby one's three or two, two. okay? And then, well, troop camps at five, walls, mostly nine, a couple tens, and then you got the, let's see, towers, seven, hero base is 13, and relic hall and guild hall six and eight town hall 15 on the way up always keep that town hall leveling up guys all right well let's go ahead and uh take a look in the altar and see what talent that spirit mage has because i'm really hoping for a good talent but if not maybe i'll get lucky enough to roll through here oh, no not so great no big deal hopefully roll the heroes i need and then well i got a lot of gems and maybe get some talent rolls in there if i can roll all those heroes i need so well i need ninja i need reaper and Pumpkin Dude, of course. So, all right, well, take a look at the heroes real quick because I'm going to go through just, just the whole account. Just two, two Thunder Gods because the second one has four or five revitalized. I'm leveling him up because that talent is that good versus not having the talent because the hero rolls are so expensive. And you can see Druid right there. Go back and take a look at that Blade Shell. Uh, it's a 5-5, five five, but it's Blade Shell, you know? I like the sprint on the Atlantic Core. Decent in the arena, but, yeah, it... Revitalize is really what you want for Atlantic Cora, in my opinion. All right, well, you got the baby right there. Mm, succubus, slow down. Eh, not so great. You basically, we're going to notice on this account, not a lot of good talents. And that's because it was a free to play account and has been until about now. And I'm really not going to go after any talents until I have Pumpkin Duke. All right, here we go. Rolling. All right, now. Whew, all right, nothing great to start with. Now, Rolling three versus rolling one, not a real big difference. It's something that, you know, I haven't noticed any difference. I know a lot of people are used to roll one. No, I, I haven't noticed any difference between rolling three or rolling one. And, well, another thing I'm going to be doing is expanding my altar because also leveling up Druid and some of these other abilities, definitely Magic Missile. That's got to get up there because you can see three tar or two targets and it goes up a target every level. So let's go ahead and get her up right now. We'll go ahead and consume and I'm going to make sure we don't consume any of the heroes that we don't want or that, that we don't want, that I want to keep. So we're going to go ahead and scroll through here and let's see. One of the things also to pay attention to is heroes that you're going to keep and if you're trying to boost might, talent level it actually does make a difference it will add 10 might per level of talent so it's something to keep in mind if you're really you know trying to get that might and you're just a few off here and there i would suggest every hero you roll and plan on keeping take a look at the talents and be like you know pay attention to this hey this is a four or five even if you're never going to use the hero keep the ones with higher talents if you're looking to gain more might for me right now i think Basically, all the heroes I'm going to roll, minus the legendaries, um, I'm going to just go ahead and consume. Another thing, well, there it is right here. I'm going to go ahead and expand this all the way out to the max, which it's 50, guys. The max heroes you can have is 50. So, basically, let's go ahead and get this vault all the way up because I hate going back and forth, back and forth when rolling for heroes and running out of room. And it's just a lot easier to do this. So, well, whoo. 
hopefully get the three heroes I need, and then we can do some talent rolls. But either way, I got to say, I'm, I'm really excited. I, I do miss all the rolling, and I haven't been spending much. Basically, back when I got Pumpkin Duke on my main, shortly after Halloween, that's when I pretty much stopped spending and have only spent, you know, a few hundred bucks since then and yeah a few hundred bucks like wow that's kind of a lot but um not really compared to what i had spent which you know was about two thousand before then all right here we go all right no 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 all right werewolf nah don't need oh yeah it's a thunder god okay 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 what you got maybe i mean if i have to level a third nah okay i was gonna say if i have to level a third thunder god but if you had a five five revite all day long i will definitely level one all right just take a look at a couple of talents but like i said i don't think that i'm going to be keeping any of them it, unless you know they have a really cool talent or a really useful talent for some elites but i don't think so all right here we go all right eh, slime 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 actually i don't mind slimes though because they do really help towards getting that experience up okay assassin nah Hmm. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. All right. Nothing so far. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hate that. I hate getting teased, but that is 3,000 experience. Like I said, the slimes. So this roll right here is going to give me 3,800 experience, which I do just really like. All right, executioner. Oh, looks like we got a max on the hero slot. So we're going to go ahead and get that magic missile up to two of nine right now. So we'll go ahead and just consume everything because I'm definitely taking it to at least um, three of nine with these rolls because I'm going to have so many rolls. I'm going to be able to get it up to three of nine, no problem. And that extra target, that's where it's, a, that's where it's at. All right. So we're going to scroll through here and actually, you know, this is a good time to use the lock button. <laughs> One of the things I don't like about the lock button is when you log off, it resets it. And you've got to go back and do this over again every single time you log in. And that is annoying. It's something that they really should make and really should have that is in the game. They really need to update that because i got to say that, you know, going through and having to put the lock on when you have a full altar, when you have basically 40 plus heroes that are leveled and you spent HP on to boost your might. And every time you're rolling a bunch of heroes, you got to go back through and scroll all the way over and to consume them, or you got to hit that lock button. It's just a pain in the ass. All right. So we're going to go ahead and just get all the ones locked we need and go ahead and actually, why am I locking the executioner? I don't need, come on. What am I doing? Wow. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm just kind of rambling a little bit, but there we go. Let's go ahead and unlock them. And all right, go ahead and consume all these heroes that we don't need. Okay. You know, it would also be nice to be able to consume more than five heroes at a time because what you're going through doing a bunch of rolls, if you've ever put in money, you know, and spent a bunch of on hero rolls, it's a pain going back and forth. And oh, hold on. Oh, okay. I knew I missed somebody on a lock. That's why I was locking the execution because I was, I had something in my mind. I was like, wait a minute. I need to lock. I need, there are some heroes I need to lock. And those are my ordinaries right there that I am definitely keeping. Cause that's what this account started with was ordinary heroes because it was a smurf and they kept the might way down, which I gotta say they were all, you know, really great heroes to level up with and begin an account with a low might account. All right, well, let's get back to the rolls. Here we go. Oh, no, I don't need champ, but if he has an awesome talent, eh, tenacity, nah. Okay, let's see. There's the honor badges. Like I was saying, you got to log off and log back on, and I will have those, but I'm not really worried about that right now. And since I'm in the middle of a recording, I'm going to hold off on that. So let's get back to the rolls. Cause come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> I swear I've been teased so many times by legend. And I do get excited every time I see that purple showing up and Go ahead. I just want to scroll through and make sure that I'm not missing a legendary that I think I need. All right. So I do need the Reaper and I do need Ninja and Pumpkin Duke. Those are the only three heroes that I don't have. And hopefully we can go ahead and get them in here. So, well, let's get back to the rolls. Here we go. Yeah. No. Man, I've rolled a decent amount of gems and have not hit anything. Oh, great. Battery. Oh, come on. Champion again. Two champs. Okay. Come on. Talent, good one, good one. Yeah. 
I could at least get a good talent if I could roll these multiple ones. Because i got to say, my champs, none of them are high because of honor badge reasons. So, okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Panda, werewolf. Blue, 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 blue. All blues. Come on. Give me some. Oh, come on. Oh, at least it was two. Got another champ. I'm rolling champs left and right, baby. All right. That's going to be some good experience for the spirit mage. Okay. Let's see. So all the talents there. I'm, just, I'm trying to remember if I had anything half decent on a champ. But I don't. Nah, two of five heavy blow. Was there one I missed? No. Okay, let's go. Here we go. All right, blues, blues, blues. Come on. All right, max spots. Let's go ahead and just feed some heroes because Spirit Mage, Druid, both of them. I'm thinking nah, 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 Druid. I can go ahead and I want Druid up because I want to be able to heal five guys. That's that's pretty important. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take Energetic up to four of nine next and hopefully I'll be able to get that Energetic up and Spirit Mage up. Um, if I'm trying to think with that many, uh, let's, yeah, I think I can get both of them up. It's going to be close. I'll have to get lucky, but we will see. All right, so let's go ahead and just consume all of these heroes. And if you're wondering blue-wise, no, I'm not keeping any blues right now. I'm not planning. I'm not worried about that part of the garrisons because of honor badges. I don't have them. Um, also shards, you know, the blues in the towers. Yeah, I'll, I can hold off on it. All right, here we go. Blues. <laughs> <laughs> All right, marksman. Uh, oh god! <laughs> uh, I'll take those chime, uh, yeah, slime champs. All the god, like I said, I guess I'll take them all day. But I gotta say, the purples, I really do. Come on, where are the heroes I need? Uh, uh, okay, max slots. Let's just go back here. And go ahead and get Drew it up. All right, so... Yeah, it's going to be a little over, no big deal, 400 over. I'll go ahead and consume that, and here we go. Get it up to four of nine, five. All right, five friendlies healed, so... Thunder God, is he... Uh, actually, I'm going to feed him that level 100 eventually, so I'm going to hold off on that second Thunder God right now, and I'm going to wait for him and go ahead and continue on with Spirit Mage. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and consume all of these heroes with Spirit Mage because that magic missile right there, you're seeing four targets, need five. Okay. So, go ahead and get all of these elites in there. Come on, come on, come on. So, let's be that. I'm trying to think if I'll actually get there at four of nine. I hope I do, but it's going to be a long way. So, all right, there's the last one, and go ahead and get back to some rolling. All right, just under 10,000 gems, so here we go. Oh, it's oh, Snowzilla. I love the friendly little bouncing fella. But Frosty, that's not what I need. Okay. Yes! Reaper! That's what I'm talking about. My goodness, I know this is just jumping in the commentary, but wow. All right, that was one of the two heroes that I do not have, so it's just Pumpkin Duke left. Let's go ahead and take a look at this bad boy and see what talent he has. Ah, no big deal. It's the Reaper, right? All right, back to the gem rolls. Come on, give me the Pumpkin Duke. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, basically just... Looks like, oh, I'm going to redo the commentary. Uh, this is just bad because it's just so many rolls, nothing. And then, boom, hit him. And, oh, it's Ninja 2. Oh, I did need 3 and I got Ninja. That's what I'm talking about. I'm on a roll now. All right. Oh, okay. eh. Experience, whatever. I'm not worried about the talent at this moment. Why do I keep hitting that? All right. Come on, Pumpkin Duke. Oh, every time I see a purple now, you know, I'm just going to be thinking, is it Pumpkin Duke? Is it Pumpkin Duke? All right. Now, should I be taking that Ninja? I'm just going to go ahead and keep getting that Spirit Mage up because getting her Magic Missile up is huge. All right, let's go ahead and consume those slimes. But, oh, man, I got to say, I was worried the way the gym rolling was going to the heroes. I was like, I'm not going to roll anything I need. I'm just getting duplicates here. It's no fun. And that's the way it is sometimes. Sometimes rolling, you just can't get anything, and all of a sudden, boom, you hit two in a row that you need, and it's like, yeah, baby. All right, come on. Oh, Joe, how many we got? All right, so we're almost on here. Doesn't look like we're going to get Pumpkin Duke, but hey, can't always get. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> I've rolled so many champions. It's kind of crazy how many champions I've rolled. 
All right, come on. What talent do you got, buddy? Oh, wait, I can see right there what has a lock. I've never even noticed that you can actually see the lock on the bottom right. Need to pay a bit more attention. All right, so, yeah, not a great talent, but I'm keeping all legends to boost the might, and I'll show you what that's like in just a second. All right, when we do level up. Oh, another Reaper. <laughs> oh, man. I guess see, rolling is a lot of fun. I mean, that's, you know, even if... Come on. Even if you don't get what you want, just, you know, the legend's popping up. That purple, when it pops up, it's like, just so, oh, Atlantic Core. Okay, okay, okay. I've rolled a lot of different legends in this, that's for sure. Got a lot of new level ones. Ooh, I've never had a bulwark talent. It seems to be really rare, but level one's not going to be any good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just keep on going here. And we're probably almost out of gems. What do we got? 1,300 left. So not very many left, but very productive rolling for sure and let's see let's go ahead and keep getting that spirit maze we're just going to bring her up as much as possible because i want that magic missile up to four of nine basically now and i don't think i'll get it right now but i'll have to to just simply well do some oh no battery is really dying now all right let's go ahead and get that on the charger and get that up there so that's a thousand yeah if i get lucky I might get that Spirit Mage up there because, well, not very many rolls left. And one hero left to get on this account. That is all that is needed is one hero. And come on. One more time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. So, last roll. Pumpkin Duke. Yay. Nay. Oh, that's okay. No big deal. <laughs> but there it is. There is 26,000 and change gems rolled. Spirit Mage bought, and that's what got for, I got from it. And I got to say, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. It's a lot of legends. It's two that I didn't have, almost a full set, but pu the elusive Pumpkin Duke, and I swear they have just <laughs> altered the percentage that it is to get him versus other legends. But no worries. I've got every other hero I need. I did farm Druid on this one and got that. Uh, those ability levels up that's really another thing about rolling is you do get right there you can see all right druid now he heals all five of my guys that's huge i love that and when it comes to spirit mage you can see that magic missile i'm gonna have that up in no time at all and i might actually i do have it right here there it is Boom, we're going to move that magic missile up one more time. Got it up to 4 of 9. You can see it's 5 targets, 260% damage, and she's a heavy hitter. So there it is. And, well, the next episode that I'm going to do on this is going to be a new base, obviously, because I'm in the middle of a base build. Because, well, our guild is doing a base competition where it's a base design competition. The best base is going to win, and it's different tiers. So because we have so many different might levels in Niggy and Friends, it's... An event that we're doing that is going to have a winner for a lower town hall a mid-level town hall and a high town hall and i gotta say i love the idea and i think it's gonna be a lot of fun but i'm gonna be designing a brand new base something that i don't know what i'm gonna be designing yet i've spent a lot of time moving things around but the next episode you're gonna see a new base and all these legends that i have in here that are level one i'm gonna throw them all in the altars and i'm gonna show you how much i can actually bump my might up just by throwing heroes in there and running here we monsters one time you're gonna see a huge might jump in the next episode we'll see how much might i can actually get all right guys that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it that was buying spirit mage and rolling twenty-five thousand gems all right guys sand seven out